Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers of Flesh and Faith DLC. Last time, unfortunately, we had to lay Pepe to rest. He has now been interred into, I suppose, now there's a Northern Oath Brotherhood graveyard up next to Adlerwacht. Let's say it's somewhere, maybe like here, in between all these mountains, so we can look out to it as we are dead. You know, so we can see the horizon of our next adventure. How very poetic for a bu bu bunch of northern bastards, eh? Um, so I guess this is where we're always going to come to bury everyone. Um, but he has been laid to rest. Now, I have a few plans for today. So, I need to get to number 18. I know who that's going to be. I need to find him first. He is technically a sir, but he is also a brute, so I don't really know who I'm going to hire. If it's going to be a noble person, or like just a rough and tumble person. I guess I'll see who's about. Secondly, I want to find this mysterious 22nd settlement. I've got a feeling it's either in here or in here, because it can't be a north one, because there's too many north seas. So it's got to be either part of Goswin, or what was the other one? Hayden. So it's got to be either here or here. I mean, even here, but that's a bit far out, and it's also going to south territory. So this block or this block. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, I think there's a contract here, which takes me here. And then I'm going to go down, 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 up, upish. So I'm kind of going to do like a diamond shape, as it were, and hopefully we'll find the damn place. And hopefully we might actually find like the first legendary location so I can also uh, unlock. It's always P and I always, I always press R because if we find a legendary location, we can also find the cartographer who would be handy because if we just go start looking for famed items in the middle of nowhere, we will get paid for the, the locations that we find at least, which would be pretty handy. So finding one of those today would also be pretty useful. So that's the plan. Also, we've got the Oath of Valor currently on. If you recall from last time, we can't, we can't flee from fights, but we do take 15% less experience. Speaking of experience, there's actually a race to level 11. So it's the race between Geji and Roderick. Roderick is pipping him by 50 XP. 50. So it's all to play for. It could be either of them. I guess we'll see how that goes. I don't think I'm going to actually keep this cleaver. Uh, I think the crypt cleaver is just going to be better for uh, Grimald. And it's also, like I said, it's also part of his uh, picture at this point. So, I'm just going to sell it. Also, there's a fair one, so we get a bit more money for it. So that's grand, but everything else is a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to take this contract to Teeth and Forced for a quick bit of money. Uh, there's not really anyone at Einstein I could hire for Rust, so I'm going to go and hopefully find him as we go on our travels. Maybe we'll find him in that hidden city, or town, or hamlet. Hell knows what it actually is. Okay, made it here without any issues, really. Uh, is there anything I could... No, I need to kill some more Naxeros, actually, to get their parts and pieces to be able to make some resolve necklaces for the lads, for the knobs. Uh, I don't think there's anyone really here. Well, that's not bad. But I don't know how um, Beast Hunters rank in terms of, like... Melee skill and melee defense. Woodcutters, lumberjacks won't be too bad. That's quite cheap, but you know what? I might actually keep an eye out for an oath taker, you know? Or we'll see. We'll see. We might actually not hire, end up hiring him from the north at this rate, but he could be like, you know, northern in Seoul. <laughs> get it? Right. Let's get to sea camp. Okay, we're at sea camp. Uh, I don't think there's anyone really here. Beggar, a flagellant. Grave digger, just general peasantry, vagabonds, fishers. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen. What have you got? Just killing beasts, 700 crowns? Yeah, go on them. Make it quick. Uh, at least that way I can get some supplies before we end up traveling out, and also we might get some materials to be able to build stuff. So let's go quickly do this. Oh shit, okay. All right, sort yourself, sort yourself. You come to a peasant. Now, I just told that these gilded farks in the south think their maker has something in store for the old gods. The voice of the crowd asks what it could be. Dunno! Now, I think we can all agree that the old gods settled their wars many years ago. And there's no need to violence. But the gilder, he ain't no god. That there is a heresy. Mate, do you even know what heresy is? Gather up your weapons, your army, your gold, and more importantly, your faith. We're going to put some shadow on that gilder. The old gods will it. Oh, well, I guess we're going to be looking in within ourselves today. 
to find the faith in the knobs. I mean, I mean, I'm not even going to say who we're going to side with. I think you know who we're going to side with. It's literally in the name. It's literally in the channel. It's literally in our mantra. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying it. But you know. Oh, hello. Eldrick the Loud Knob, the modest monk, enters your tent with a vial in hand. I almost forgot he's a monk. The flask is topped with a bark stopper and a wreath of greenery with berries hanging beneath the leaves. Inside the vial is a goldish liquid sloshing about. Whatever it is, he catches any glimpse of light and seems to capture it and swirl it around. He holds it out. Blessed water, sir, to fight the dead that walk again. You ask if it's a gift from the old gods. He nods. You ask if it's really a gift from the old gods, though. He pursed his lips. Well, no, not exactly. The monastery is now to make it, but it is an ancient recipe protected under penalty of death. Oh, of course. You thank the man for taking such a risk to contribute, and tell him to put it in the inventory. Good job, Eldrak! You be as loud as you want today. You give me some blessed water. Or blessed water. How do you say blessed or blessed? It's spoken differently around the world, I suppose. Um, but that's handy, because you can really only get that from one of the legendary locations. And it's super handy versus a very other certain legendary location that we found to be the demise of one of our other playthroughs. No spoilers. Right, let's find this group of beasts quickly. Oh, that was a good walk. We got some we got some holy water out of it. I guess we might be going to holy water today. Uh, after I fall. Oh, gee, ah, what the? F wow. Why is it always web next, man? Wait for it to be daytime. Are they both chasing me? Oh, I, I was hoping to bring the brigands in as well. Never mind. All right, web's, web next at dawn, is it? Let's 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 end this quickly because we know this is going to be drawn out and just a bit of a mess. And I don't really materials from web next. I mean, you get Gossamer, Johnny Gossamer. That's a good reference if anyone gets it. Um, but why is meh? Bit of meh, guys. Guys. Thank you. Thank you, hands. Stay up there. Yeah, these uh, bros are not going so well, are they? Could be, go could be going better. Could be going better, to be fair, but it's alright. It's okay. Right, come on up. Web, everyone. I might end up... Uh, I might end up skipping through this one quite a bit, just because it's Webnex and... I think I probably speak for everyone at this point, where Webnecks are a bit just sort of part and parcel these days, and they're just a bit of a pain. We're not really... I don't really find them super fun to fight, honestly. Um, They're just a bit... Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. Yes, I get it. Web me all you want. Still gonna die. Uh, Switch. Fire. Ooh! The Hanian just sidles around hands and almost headshots that webneck. Pretty good. That's one. That's two! Oh! Roderick is going for gold. He is going for the level 11. Can he do it? We'll see. We will see. Okay, we're starting just mowing now. Mowing through them! Uh, you have to switch, unfortunately. So, fortunately, it's fine. Um, I don't know. I guess you can go and help your brother out. Uh, break out, break out. There you go. Okay, we made a map. Ow, made a big difference. Go web, go. To be fair, we might actually be able to breeze through this a lot faster than I thought, so I might not actually cut it that much. Because we just absolutely obliterated their front. Ooh! That's the first damage Geji has taken in a while. Can't believe you're not dead. Hang on. Damn! Sorry, Eldrak. That's nah, fine. Ooh, maybe not so fine. Get out of there, will you? Alright, down you go. Uh. Ah, oh, wow. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. Ooh, a little bit of that acid burn for our friend there. 
And a bit for Wongo Dongo. Come on. Okay, that spider's... It's dead. It's dead. Come on. Let's not beat around the... The gossamer bush here. No bitey. Where well, I just say no bitey. Yeah, fine. Oh, Jesus. All right. I think we found Geji's weakness. Spiders. I mean, to be fair, spiders are also my weakness. So, you know. Get out of here. Uh, go up. Kill it. Get out. Nice. Yeah, you pissed him off. That's what happens. Oh, God. Sorry, buddy. Go to spear mode. Spear mode. How's the, uh... Stay out of it. Uh, that one. And then you stay there. Oh, just give over, will you? And they're running. Just had to, you know, massacre their whole family, I guess. If you count them having families, I guess so. Finish that one, please. We are, we are done here, as far as I can tell. I just need to find the right person to... There you go. Right, end the round. It should tell me that they're fleeing, and then I can call it a day. Pretty sure I can't hit the flag just yet. Even though they are running, it hasn't come up as fleeing yet. So, I guess I've just got to wait a hot minute. Come on. The spiders are running away. They're not coming back. Well, the game thinks otherwise. Come on, they're running. Okay, well, not really the fight I wanted, but nobody got any temp injuries or permanent injuries. And hands leveled up, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, ooh, Roderick's still pipping him by six. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I mean, yeah, I'm not really going to... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and brigands, is he? Jesus. My brigands be driven. Uh, hands. What do we got? Let's just upgrade them both, shall we? God, his defense is terrible. And yeah, he's still kicking it. He's still absolutely kicking it. Don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> don't ask me how. Uh, he just knows how to do it. There you go. Check executioner. Uh, ooh. I guess I could. I mean, it'd be rude. It'd be kind of rude not to, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I think so. Now, I should take Geji out. Oh, God, yeah, I should take Geji out. I'm going to try and make this fair, just for, just cause, so it's a fair race. Hang on. Uh, there you go. God, how long is your windpipe? One to two days. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna for this one. Eldrak, let me let me come in for a bit. Let me come in for a bit. I kinda wanna Oh no, I don't need I don't actually need to close. I will borrow that quickly. Do 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 here I come. I never realized you were bald, Eldrak, but I suppose you are a monk, so I guess it makes sense. No, that's a bad thing. Like, we all bald eventually. We men. We knobs. Come on then! You followed us this far, it'd be only fair to fight you. Only fair to fight you. That was a tongue twister. Really? Is that how you're starting? Is that how you're starting? That's what I think of that, bitch. Well, the Hanian just uh, basically overwhelmed them all in the front line and killed that guy with one hit. So, that's how we're starting. Where is this leader? Huh? You're not wearing a helmet. You're an idiot. I mean, he's got Fighting Spear, which I could give to uh, Baffle, to be fair. That's not bad. Right. Let's quickly get into, into position. Assume the position. I hope. Uh, I don't know. Stand like... Here, I guess. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Shield up. Stand there. Shield. Yeah, well, stand there. <laughs> yeah, so that went a mile away, bitch. Don't worry. I know your game. Give me your spear. 
Um, ah. Go down there, Nathaniel. Bloody hell. Mr. Quick Hands over here. Gotta remember that Sky... Oh, oh no, it's off. Skylar forgot here. Right, these brigands are a little bit more dicky than I thought they would be. Okay. Well. Better start routing them quick, eh? Are you scared of this line of men? I don't blame you. It's a scary line of men. Fine. Fine. 78. Nice three, obviously. Yeah, you guys. You guys just desserts for that, I guess. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that's what you get. And that. Where are you going? Oh, you... Mm. Go on, Wraith, get into the fold. Really confusing. Give me the head. Very nice. That's fine. Absolutely bearable. That's a shame. I'm going to pull you out slightly just so I can do this. Ah, oh, you didn't clodonk him. It was no clodonk. Oh boy. Oh, you'll be sorry for doing that. I wish, ow, I wish some of these jabronis had a war bow. Jeez, wouldn't that be great? Just give me what I want. Ah, Rob! They're just brigands, buddy. Come on, you can do it. They're really gonna hit him in the head for some reason. I don't actually know why. Okay, well. Let's hold that for a thought. Okay. You're gone. I will save the man, don't worry. I hope. I hope I hope to save Oh you basically cut his head. Like cut his forehead. Or five head, depending on how big it is, I suppose. Ah that kind of didn't land as much as I would have liked, but it's okay. They did though. Sorry, switcheroo. Suck on that egg. Finally. Not ideal. That on your hand is ideal. Uh, I wouldn't risk it. Right, twat him. Rob. You haven't actually got a permanent injury. You're actually kind of okay in a weird way. So good for you, buddy. Don't let the leader run away. Where is he? Otto the Cruel. I'll show you the mean of cruelty. Oh, I think you're circumventing us, dear. We'll see. Oh, God. Nathaniel, buddy. Uh, ooh. I was kind of hoping to uh, overwhelm him a bit. Didn't quite work out. Keep it up, Skylock. This is actually a lot damaging, more damaging than I thought it would be. Bloody hell, all right, Citrine King. He's had enough. Hold that fort. You're already dead. Uh, go there. Really? Rolled a 96 and rolled a 91. God damn, that's bad. Unfortunate, Rafe. Very unfortunate. Get up there. Oh, well. <laughs> You're stunned. Where we at? <laughs> kind of running low on the old uh, juice here, aren't we? Just a bit. Suddenly concerned about this guy, obviously. He might come in and straight up kill Garrow. He's going to go for Vahanian and also waste his turn a bit, so that's actually okay. Oh, really? Alright. Stand there for a sec. Bitch, move. Hey, your armor's gone. This shouldn't be as hard as it actually is. It's, uh... Mate. 
Me. 5%, no thanks. Kill that one. Come down here. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Maybe I'll stab him in those places, but okay. Keep running backwards. You've got him. Maybe not so much. Ah, alright. Fair enough. Oh, he's got a bit more going on than I thought he would. Jesus Christ, game. That's fine. Let's want the spear, mate. <laughs> Too much to ask for. Damn. It just might be, you know. Just might be. Oh, you're knackered. Fair enough. Uh, oh, you can't even move, really, can you? Well, eventually, we'll get through his shield. So that's something, I guess. Bye. Baffle, down there. Stay over there. Oof. Big oof. I mean, he does have a height advantage, I suppose, but wow. Buddy, how are you not tired? Well, he's fatigued. So a friendly fire thing, yeah? <laughs> grab him. No, oh, don't grab him. Finally! Bloody progress. Right, you guys, go deal with that guy. We're fine here. Getting off the hill is going to be the problem. Go, the final you'll go over there, you're on 8 health, buddy. Cheeky stab from Baffle. All right, you guys chase him, I guess. There it is. It's only a matter of time. Ooh, 40%. Go down there. Dangerous spear. That's kind of what I wanted. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Shame. You're out. Forever and ever. You stay over there. You come down here. Good smack him off. Perfect. Someone else got on that hill quickly. There you go. I don't really care about his armor. I care more about his um... spear. Oh, mate. Somebody kill this jabroni, please. Oh, he's running anyway. It's fine. Thank you, hands. You did a well good service. Nathaniel's just beaten up. Rafe's not feeling too great either. Where is it? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It didn't give me it. Ah. Oh. Well, that was kind of a waste. Skyhawk leveled up and Baffle leveled up at least. I only did it for the spear. Man. Alright, fine. Back to sea camp. And I guess we're off on an adventure. Okay, well, about to 10k, everything's handed in. Obviously, we've got a little bit of injuries here and there. I don't think it's... It's not too bad. It could be worse. Uh, he says. <laughs> he says. It could be worse. How's that going? No, I guess Roderick, uh, Roderick can actually come back in. Baffle. There you go, bud. Plus two is not great, but it's, you know, it is what it is. So don't worry about it. Uh, I guess I could give you plus four for uh, range, just to give you a bit of spear for range. Why not? Why not, indeed? Uh, you've already got so much stuff. Like, wow. Yeah, um, I could give you Executioner. So I could give you Battleforged, but... I mean, your armor's not actually that heavy, honestly. Well... Overall, I'm pretty good with spears and throwing weapons. Maybe I should just give you Throne Weapon Mastery. And then I can give you Battle Forge when you've got more. And then give you one last... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Best of both worlds. Why not? Skylock. 81. 21. Not bad. Not bad at all. Plus 4 in Fatigue. Very, very decent. I will give you 
Battle Forged. But I suppose I could give you Brawny instead. What's that? 5th, 18, 30, so it'd be 9 CB on. Oh, actually, hang on. 72? 72. I'll take that. Okay. Well, whilst everyone is healing up a bit, there's like a few little... Everyone's like a little bit injury, injured, but not like overly... You almost healed once two days. I think you'll have healed by the time we get into the next fight, so I'm going to put you in the line, as it were. Right. Let us go and search this 22nd city so we can get that wrapped up, see what they want, and then get involved in this holy war and hopefully also find some famed items because I just want some, all right? Uh, let me see. I was going to go this way, but I think this island's connected, so it'd be better to go down, then to Camp Water, then up. So I'm going to go this way, this way, this way, like a square. Well, it's kind of like a sideways square. So a diamond, like I said earlier. Let me just get some extra food, because we might be out there for a while. I don't actually know how long. There we go. We should be fine as it is. Let us be off on our adventure. Okay, nothing yet. I've just gone over that mountain, which I'm never really a big fan of doing. Mainly because, you know, fall down a mountain, you're dead. That's a dead end? That's a dead end. Okay, so we come down and around here. There's got to be, like, something here, I suppose. Okay, let's uh, circumvent around a bit. Be careful, because I did just see a group of webnecks parading around, because we love that. Okay, well, there's a bunch of, like, ten brigands following me, but they're, like, pointless and fuggy, so I'm not even going to bother fighting them. I'm just going to let them follow me. If you catch up to me and try to fight me, fine, but... Oh, hello! Hello! What's this? Yes! 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 Allersdorf. It's got nothing here. <laughs> It's got nothing here. <laughs> it's just a small farming village. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well. Secret town or not, we found it. It does actually kind of make sense where it is, because now that sort of bridges the gap between Filsty and Cobmanhaven. So it's actually like a, I suppose, direct line in their, like, trading, I guess. Even though their land literally stops here, and I assume stops here. That is such a weird spawning place. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what's here and who's here. Uh, and maybe do something just to be nice to these guys. 364? Oh, go on then. I don't need them. Fine. Going for the money like nobody's business. Uh, who's here? Hmm. Just farmers. Farmers and beggars. I doubt this is where the new guy is from. Let's see what they've got. What's that? Well, 200 crowns is too bad. What's that? A patrol, right, a patrol contract from this place would be pretty ridiculous because we'd have to do like, we'd have to go like this and then like this and then it, it wouldn't make sense. It practically and logistically, it wouldn't make sense. So let's go and let's go kill these brigands for Allersdorf. Let's show that, let's show Allersdorf who we are. This is really funny because I don't know if you recall really early in the game, I think it might be in episode one, where we came to this land. And to be fair, it might have been a place literally here. And we went all the way around, because I didn't realize there was a lake here. So we literally went here, did a fight, came back, never saw this. It was here the entire time. From the first episode, the secret town was literally just a whim away. A whim away. Well, I just loaded in and it said it was a hedge knight. So, take that as you would. Are we actually that close? Apparently so. Jesus. I didn't realize that Rob was that banged up still. I think we might have to move up by one column just to get in the zone, as it were. The bone zone. Everybody move up slightly, please. But only slightly. Let's not get too wild, shall we? There is a hedge knight somewhere, apparently. As to where he is, Christ knows. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Probably not there. That was a pretty 50 50. Oh, apparently, your chance. 31! Jesus Christ. Bloody crossbows. Is it still sort of like a. Yeah, I guess it's still sort of in a weird angle because there's a tree there. Love it. So where's his dickhead? Is he coming out to play? 
No? Alright, I guess we'll come and knock on his door then. If he's not gonna come out, we're gonna come in. That is just how we roll, baby. But also be, be careful. He may be some asshole aside with brigands, but he's still a hedge knight, to be fair. Are you close enough to, like... Is that going to drop his uh, shield wall? I'm not sure. And spear wall. Okay, I think they decided they're going to come in. Good. Mm, okay. Our range is being a bit silly buggers at the moment. That's better. Can you get a little closer and kaplonk? Well, your first friend's dead. Do you still want to duke this out? I guess still want to duke this out. Okay, fair enough. Ugh, that tree is really pissing me off. Somebody cut down that tree. No, seriously. Somebody cut down. Okay, he's not taking the bait. Shame. Grimold! Up you go. Oh, here he, here he is. He just called Hedge Knight. He just called Hedge Knight. Uh, I mean... I wish he had a different weapon. To be fair. Like a Warhammer. Um, a one-handed best hammer. Is that a ha Warhammer or a military hammer? I can't remember what it's called now. Um, anyway... I guess get involved. Rob, careful. You don't have that much health or armor. I think they know it. I think they know it. So I want his armor. For sure I want his armor. But, um... And I'll take... Obviously I'll take his stuff. I'll take the rest of his stuff. But I was hoping for a different uh, weapon set, as it were. So... It's fine. It's still three... Ooh, can we get in there? Ha ha ha! Not this time. Your spear wall has failed you! For probably the last time in your life, mate. I know we got elevation, but it's not really doing much for us. Well, I'll save it. I always save it. Oof. Well, at least you didn't hit shoot Geji. Right, you guys move up, because it's not really working out anymore. Where are you going? Okay, grim old good distraction. Don't be scared, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, that's correct. I do believe in him. Yeep. Careful of that hedge knight. That's all I'm going to say. Switch it up. He's running. Or at least he would be if he wasn't about to get absolutely creamed. Careful, Rob. Please. Whew. 14 is not great. He's going to take it anyway. 46. 46. Almost killed him in one. Switch. Switch Rob out. Rob, go protect the range, people. You, Citrine, come down here in preparation for this Hedge Knight, who hopefully will not run away. Oh god, hello. How's it going? Not great, apparently. God, there's still so many more of them than I realized. Ow. Ow! Do you mind, good sir? You'll have, you'll, whew, you're not going to enjoy the uh, repercussion of that one. There's still so bloody many of them. Catch! Hey, not bad. 20, 43. There's a guy there as well. Bloody hell. I know but there's still, what, 13 of them, so there's still quite a few, but man. Hot tamale! Get in the bin. And you. Stay there for a hot moment. You're out. You're also out. Oh, can you imagine? That would have been beautiful. Oh, dear. Recover. 
Things are about to get spicy. Damn it. Don't break his armor. It's gonna be really hard not to. Where, which way are they coming from? So really, you slide a, you slide one in the chamber. Interesting. So did Roderick. And Vahanian. Ooh, it's okay. It's alright. Okay. Just surround him. Uh, switch, because you got the fatigue now. Can you stun him? You could try. Ooh, right, okay. This is going to be interesting. Skylock. Shame. Mm, don't hurt your armor too much, please. Hopefully he'll just go... Oh, that's not what I want him to do at all. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Okay, Operation... Kill as many of them as possible. Operation Kill many as many of them as possible. So he routes. Not quite. Ah, hands, buddy. I know you're a backliner, but you're really brave going in there by yourself right now, buddy. Mad respect. I didn't even think about hitting him. Careful of that. Okay, tickle the armor a bit, but don't go, you know, too crazy with it. Skylock man. Amazing work. And hands, amazing work. Careful. Careful! Citrine King has been struck down. The Hedge Knight was not messing, apparently. Guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Damn. Okay, well, um, that's not good. You're gonna run now. That's understandable. You're gonna die now. That's understandable. And now we've got you to deal with. Ah, the armors. Right, shields up. Citrine has taken... He's not dead, at least. Right, I don't really want you to hit the armor anymore. Saying that, though, if it gets any worse, I might have to just say screw it, because, uh... This isn't really working. Okay. Lasted another turn without it. He's gone. I guess I will switch in with... I don't know, I guess I'll just go in. I guess I'm just going in, boys. You two stay back. Hiroshima, you don't actually have a dagger, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to... Ugh, Rob, I don't want to risk you either, because you're really injured. 24%? Really? Man, that blows. Okay, his shield is down. Now's the time. I guess. 32%? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Tag me in, coach. I really just didn't care, did he? Okay, well. Mate, you're so surrounded, you don't even know it. You could probably still kill one of us. There's a chance. I'm saying there's a chance. Skylar's Kizorsa, so wait a sec. That's me! That's my face, you dick! How dare you! My beautiful complexion. Will you please just kill this guy? Oh, come on, you daddy. You almost did it, then. Baffle switch. Ah, oh, the baffle switch didn't work. I was going to get my revenge. Thank you, Skylock. Okay, what's wrong with you, then? You're traumatized. Oh, my God. Your resolve's terrible, and your initiative is going to be not great. As great as you are, Cetrine King, you might be on the way out. You might be on the way out. Okay, well, we got his coat of plates, and we got his full helm. So, it wasn't in vain. And we got his fighting axe. 
to be fair. So we did get all his shit. So it wasn't in vain. And the quote plays is insane. So I guess I'll take that as a win because nobody technically died. Kill him. Crush him. All right, that's Alice Dorf. We'll recover. Well, we found a sea. I guess now we can go... I suppose... For this uh, holy war, I guess we should go to the northern town and be like, Yo, what's cracking? Because I imagine it'll be like, Oh, go defend the uh, this specific holy land or that specific holy land against the south. And I'd be like, well, okay. And then I'll probably get overrun because that's usually what happens with the holy war. <laughs> so I might just use this. I might use this episode to go see if I can find some areas with some famed items. And then next episode... We'll jump straight into the Holy War. Uh, how are we looking in terms of stuff? I mean, all the negative modifiers are gone, so actually, this shouldn't be too bad. There are no tools, though. That's the only issue. Uh, right, let's sell the crap we don't need. I'll keep those two. Get rid of that. Get rid of all this crap. Wow, we have a lot of high-end weapons. Yeah, we do. Uh, I need to find some Maxeras to kill. I really do. Uh, uh, I get rid of that. Okay, well, who's getting... Who's got the most fatigue to get the... Yeah, I know you're unhappy, mate. I mean, what you gonna do? So what's your... Uh... <laughs> oh, boy. You're always 30. Not great. And what was the other one? Traumatized? Initiative. So you're slow as balls. 45. Well, you're not much slower than uh, Grimold, weirdly enough. I think you are going to end up being permanently relegated to the back line. Like, there's no point in giving you the heavy hammer because you're probably just going to die. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Wraith, what's your. Uh, so, 200 minus 26. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got 58. Whew. 300. 300. So, you get. So that's the same as that, but that's a minus two fatigue penalty less. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Coat of Police is minus 42. I don't really know who has that um, much fatigue to go around. I know that Grimold, unfortunately, doesn't. Uh, and I highly doubt Citrine really does now either, because he's, he's a bit banged up. Saying that, his uh, injuries have got nothing to do with fatigue, funnily enough. 52. Interesting. Okay. 58. It might be Wraith down the line. I might have to wait to level him up a bit, but I think it might be Wraith. Or the new guy who we get today. Who is actually the next thing I'm going to do. So let's get a move on. Okay, well, we're down at Camp Water. And I just went to the tavern. And... We're interested to be taken by Northern Crusaders. Fair enough, Northern Crusaders. We'll be with you shortly, I suppose. Uh... Well, I was about to tell you about a tavern rumor about going northwest of Camp Wars to find something that apparently needs to go back and check. So, can I go have a look at that? You find Sir Wongodongo sitting by himself outside the camp. As the cheers and cheers of the men around the campfire crackle, you approach the man and ask what he's sulking for. Not sulking, sir, just thinking. Well, I suppose one could be easily mistaken for the other. Chuckling, he offers a bit of a drink. What you take? Settling down beside him, you ask what he is thinking about. And his own nobleman shrugs again. Nothing, really, just thinking about, um... I'm a long away from it now, and the last I remember of it isn't exactly the best. Yet yeah, I still find myself wishing to be there now and then. Um, sick for a land that thinks me a sort of noble sickness, go figure. You hand him back your drinks, he probably needs it more than you. Well, you're stuck. Well, you're still clear headed, you try and speak your mind. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, you're with us now, mate. Where you're from is a house and a home. You yearn for a different place and a different time. When you're in this place, right here, right now, the Northern Oath Brotherhood, the knobs, look after you. And you, it, and only together will we persevere. The man stares into his drink. He chuckles, sips, and wipes the froth away. Yeah, I suppose that's one way to look at it. Thanks, Captain. Anytime. To resolve for Wongo Dongo. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right. There's something northwest of Camp Water. Apparently, it's secret. It better be fun. The fun kind of secret, not a bad kind of secret. God knows what it's gonna be. Hmm, same time, maybe, same time, that'd be, that'd be great. Okay, how, how northwest are we talking here? Because I'm not... 
Oh, yeah. I guess that... Oh, I mean, that's the Fallen Star. Oh, that's actually... That's weirdly more north than I thought it would be. Okay, well, whatever. Um... Is this far enough from civilization? I mean, he's a hedge knight and a brigand leader. This could be really brutal. How's everyone doing? Everyone's okay. I'm gonna switch out. To be safe, I'm gonna actually switch out Hiroshima for Grimold. Uh, Hans. I mean, switch out Nathaniel. I just wanna be sure. I'm too injured. Citrine's back, but he's just not quite the man he used to be, is he? Um. I'll hold him out for a bit. I'm not going to use this for now, just because no one really has the uh, fatigue. I could give it to Wraith, but man, look how it drops. It's quite a bit, and I could drop, what's that, 280 minus 19. I could give that to Grimold, I suppose. It does make very little difference, but it is kind of broken at the moment. I'll, uh, I'll set that to be repaired. I'll set them both to be repaired. Okay. Man, they take a lot of tools just for those things. Jesus. Well, I guess we're going in. I guess we're going in. Victory and death, and that. Go on, then. All right, it's been a day. Let it settle. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, well, obviously they're in their little hidey holes, but we do have a little bit of their elevation to help us with, mayhaps. There is 20... 23?! Twenty fucking three. All right. Okay, Geji. I want you to run a bit of a. I was gonna say diversion, but have you seen how many people they're gonna like shoot us with? Let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least seven, and that's seven I could see. I thought I was gonna hit. I actually thought I was actually gonna hit, but he rolled a ninety-nine. Wait, what? No, he rolled a 30. To be fair! Oh no, that was a brigand. Whatever. I'm being dumb. Why is uh, he's not showing up? That's really weird. Okay, well, I guess we're going there. Close that one off. Heads up. They actually have a pretty decent chance of hitting us. There's another guy. Do any of you happen to have a war bow, good sirs? I am in the market for one. I'm going to have to be really careful because, uh... 56? That's... Ugh. Okay, so who's this guy? I, I, was, I was reading. Till the Bleak. Well, we'll see. Be careful up there, Eldrak, because you are in range of everyone now. Right, let's move the line up. Slowly, but surely. Get behind him. Uh... Can you get there? Oh, well, you can. Oh, gee, there he is. That's, uh... Okay, right. I'm gonna have to be ca really careful here. Oh, look at his armor, though. We could get another... We could get another high-end armor set. But we might have to suffer for it. Why are we alive just to suffer? Okay, Miller. Gee, Agris with that shield, man. He is doing work. Right, can we hit any of these dickheads? Because there is a lot of them. Ooh, you can. All right, well, that's that gone. Are any of them going to come have a pop, no? That was a good throw. To be fair, I'm not one for being like, yeah, it was good, but that was good. You just shoot that shield. Just, man, defense of 45. No wonder they were just, like, hanging off. Okay, move up slightly. Move up slightly. I'm a lot scared of this guy, obviously. Can we get in? We can. All right. This is how it begins, then, eh? Well, at least the, uh, at least Till's overwhelmed. Gotta be careful. Don't move just yet, stay behind the shields. This is gonna be like a seriously, like, super tactical tactical battle. I love it. Maybe I don't love the, uh... You hit him? Really? He's Geji, man. He's the unhittable. Oh, God, I don't like this. 
everyone is actually doing really well at uh, stopping them from... Oh, God. Every time. Uh, okay. All right. I think most of their ranged is done. So let's make uh, let's make tracks, shall we? Reload and hold. Coming out? Did I bait you? No? I still haven't bait them. Damn. This is kind of mad. 32, not great. 42 would have worked, I guess, but not this time. Okay. We're basically getting there. Oh, shit. <laughs> like that. Damn. Okay. So next turn, we're in, basically. Hopefully, it's going to make it harder for them to shoot us, because they've got friends in front, I would imagine. I'm really worried about all those crossbow shots now, just because we are closer, so they'll get a better chance. Did I give... I gave Roderick Pathfinder, didn't I? I didn't. I think I will give him Pathfinder next. Oh, you hit one of the ranged people. I'll take that. Mm, fair enough. Right, he's basically dead. Good. Nice. Uh, ooh, 20% sir. Well, you never know. Careful. Good. Well, killing one of them didn't really rout many of them. Well, any of them, really. If we can take care of all the arrows coming at us, then this should be a bit of a doddle. It's just the sheer amount of crossbow bolts coming our way. It's pretty mad when you think about it. Among other throwing items, yes. Right, they've got to go around. That's fine. Missed! I'm not worried about that. We need to sally forth through this. We need to storm them. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Wongo Dongo, buddy. Be careful. Be very careful. I'm actually going to get hands behind him. He hit anyone... 37. Eesh. Well, I shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. Right. Good start. He is literally right there, though. Oh, oh he's gone round. Okay, that's actually... Oi! In this regard, it's kind of a good thing. I'm a lot scared, though, obviously. It would be weird not to be scared. Hiya! Hi well, that actually kind of worked. Get out of the way. We need. We are coming through. The only thing is, they won't get tired from shooting so much either, mainly because. Well, oh, repost, why not? Uh, they're not really wearing any clothes, so even though they're firing constantly, they're going to be fresh. Just the way it is, isn't it? Oh, God. Every time. Okay, Roderick, I want you to focus fire on that hedge knight. As much as I want the armor, I'd still want to survive at the end of the day. That was beautiful. Beautiful display of power. Wongo, be careful. Man, we're getting lucky with these shots. Get on the line so you can start stabbing through the fortifications, please. What's that? 29. Well, it'll still work. They've all gone round. They've seen what Gedge can do, which is understandable. Nice. Okay, Wongo, you got to do some damage here. Never mind. I'm a little bit worried about Wongo Dongo. A little bit worried. Start cutting for him, please. Oh, God. Right, here comes Big Boy. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Right, come down here. One of them's going. Uh, shield up, buddy. What's your, uh, your defense is all right, to be fair. Step off. 
Right, Grimold, get into the uh, chicken coop, as it were, and start ripping everything apart. Pretty please. The more you... Ow, it finally hit. The more you kill. Bless the... Okay, this is getting... They weren't hitting at all with the arrows, and now they're hitting all the time. <laughs> Hello. Oh man, one go. I need to get you out of there, buddy. As if you're not dead. Okay, nice one, Geji. Hold it in. I don't even know who kind of aim at, really. Um, hmm. Could shoot the Hedge Knight. Could shoot Till. Okay, Wongo, you have to be careful here. Okay, that's about as much as I would like to do damage with, I guess. We'll see. You're out. Oh my god, all those misses. They were all like 58 to 60%, which I know isn't. Okay, well, shut my mouth. Oh, oh you can always slam down. Then slam down, my friend. Slam down. Show them how it's done. Um, I am a little bit worried about that. We'll see. Pop. Uh, just uh, you know, use your fatigue, buddy. Use your words. Ah, oh, Eldrak. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, look at that beautiful display. Okay, this is, uh, I think this might, oh god, hello. Wongo might still be okay. Ooh. Maybe. Damn that. Oh, I take it back. Shit. Wongo's dead. I should have said anything. Oh my god. Oh, it's like every episode now that we lose. Ah, oh, shit. Nobody else dies. Can't, I literally can't take it. Oh, Baffle, what did I just say, man? Holy hell. Okay, I need to either stun him or rout him. One or the other. He's too tired to move. Everyone's exhausted. It's surprising that you actually can just come into attackers. That's kind of unexpected, really. Okay, fine. Um, yeah. All right. Eldrak! Man! My man! Right, when's he coming up? I might... Oh, thank God for that. Stunned him. Whew. Right. This is this time. I'm saying this time. Don't you run away. Get ready for that. God, as if he's not running yet. He will. He will. I hope. Ah, uh, buddy. Ah, uh, buddy. Oh, he's going away. Damn it. Man, that Hedge Knight is just like, yeah, and what? And what? Oh, God, he is next. Careful! Ah, oh, your daddy took it instead. Hellfire. Reload, please. Sorry, armor. I'm sorry, armor. Right, he's out. We gotta go. We gotta go fast now. Okay, well, he's, he's basically done. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Don't do it! They might still do it. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> I was like, what? Really? He's back. Nah. Oh, god damn. That was amazing. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. I think I am just going to have to... Oh, wow, Roderick's out of there. Ah! God damn! He's on his way out. This guy is still, like, feeling kind of okay. Okay, he's on his way out. Go over there. Oh, you're not giving up yet, you massive bastards. Recover. Ah, I don't want to shoot him again. Hold that bolt. I want to see what I can do. Ah, damn. That bleed ain't good. That bleed ain't good. Hold fire, I say. You might just be able to do it. Oh, thank God for that. Right. It's time for a bit of a stabbing frenzy in honor of Wongo Dongo. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, man. That's what his hair looks like? Oh, man. He wasn't even with us for that long. We got 15 kills. 13 battles, 15 kills. Damn. Every time. Now I need to find two people. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Right, well. I think I know who's going to fit that role quite well. I need to go find a whip again. Damn. Okay, well, Geji and Rafe leveled up. That was quite... Oh! Does that mean that Geji won the race? I think Geji might have won the race. Although it doesn't really feel too great right now. Right. Well. Your death was not in vain. We did get another full helm and a coat of scales. Which is not quite a coat of plates, but it's still pretty great. Okay, we're back at Camp Water. Let's have a look at the situation we're in. So, we are down two people. Um, I know that I still need to go find Rust Bucket for this episode, and I know who the next one after that is going to be as well. It kind of works out kind of well. I know it sounds bad because Wongo Dongo just died, but the person that I need to find next is also technically a cleaver mastery person, even though he's technically not cleavers. Well, I suppose you could use both cleavers and whips, I guess. I do need to go find a whip. Um, because the other one got lost whilst we were, whilst one person was specifically drunk. Anyway, Geji won the race, literally by 14 XP. 14. On the plus side, that means Roderick will level up next fight. But Geji, welcome to level 11. The first level 11. 92. Not bad. Not bad at all, my friend. Uh, yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Whoop. And those are the stats before we start getting uh, one one by ones. Man, I actually really, really don't know what to give you for your last perk. Could do rotation just to make it easier to move around. Could do crippling strikes just so you injure people easier, which will make them take them out easier. Could do steel brow to make sure you don't get any crits in the heads, but you haven't really, I mean, touch words, you haven't really been crit in the head at all. No real point in doing Headhunter. Could go Killing Frenzy. Could go Indomitable. You know what, Geji? I will leave the choice up to you. Because the only things I'm going to do now is go find one or two people and then call it. So, figure it out. Let me know. And I'm also going to see if I can find a Noble Sword. On the plus side, like I said, we did find both the coat scales, which I am going to aim to repair. Oh, God. And we got two full helms. How much, how much tools is this going to cost? Am I going to be able to financially recover from this? Uh, Ged Wraith also leveled up. He's got now got 90 melee scale and 31 melee defense with one more level to go before we hit the prestigious levels, as it were. Minus 26. Oof. What's that? I mean, you'll still be on 65. That's not terrible. The helmet now looks a bit weird, though. It just looks a bit out there. Minus 20. Woo-hoo-hoo! 
Yeah, all right. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. We have our own head. Anatomist turned Oath Taker turned Hedge Knight. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm all about that, son. Uh, okay, well, if that's going over there... Well, so that is 300 already, isn't it? What is yours? 180 and minus 19. It's almost not worth it, is it? It's almost not worth it. No. I guess I'll give it to someone else. Okay, yours, yours. 230 and minus 25. Whew, can you imagine? That'd be crazy. It would only receive 81% instead of 76%. But you'd also only have 61 fatigue, which is uh, not ideal. Saying that, hang on, 42. What's that one? 38. We were right now. 25 to be minus 13. Uh, maybe, maybe down the line. Maybe down the line. 250. Okay, you know what? I'll work all this out in my head. I'll work all this all out in my head in a bit. Let's just go see if I can go find Mr. Rust of Buckets. Oh, and get loads of tools. Loads. Okay, so I went for a bit of a gander down here just to see if there were any decent people on the way. There wasn't really. There also weren't any contracts to do with the Holy War to get started already because I did kind of, as much as I want to take them from our northern house, uh, it'd be easier to take them from here because then we can go boop and then come back up and accept it uh, and get our money. Instead of having to go all the way up here to accept a contract, to go all the way down here. But it might be the case that we do that next episode, because I haven't found any noble contracts to do with the South Holy War. Oh well. Anyway, whilst I was at Growing Fest, you'll notice that we have a little bit less money. Uh, I did end up buying a new person for the knobs. You've heard of him? He's heard of himself. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Rust of Buckets, finally. Uh, he is a hedge knight, so you can imagine he was pretty expensive. But look at that. Look at that. At level 3. At level 3! His melee defense kind of sucks, though. That's just because he's huge. The one downside is he is disloyal, so we're going to have to be, like, super cautious that he doesn't just slip away in the night. I'm watching you, Rust. I'm watching you. Uh, other than that, though, he seems like he's going to end up being a pretty decent person at level 11 overall. Um, his melee skill is already better than some of the people on the team, as it were. Um, so that's good. I am going to go look for Ruckus as well, as number 18. But there is no, like, cleavery, butchery, cultisty people here. Not that I don't know if we'd hire cultists, but hey. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully find him next. And I do need to buy another whip, but I guess I could give him military cleaver for the time being. I did sell off a few things just to... <laughs> make ends meet. We've still got most of the stuff. I've still got the cutter plates. I've still got the other full helm. I've still got all the helmets in the world. I've still got one of each weapon in tier 3, as it were. I've still got two great swords. Uh, great arc axes, as it were, because he came with one. Uh, but I still need to find some noble swords for Geji and Skylock. Among a few other tier 3 weapons would be great. Especially a warbow. I just want a warbow, man. But they're so expensive to buy just outright. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today because it's been a pretty brutal episode. Once again, we are getting to that sort of mid-game where it gets pretty dangerous for everyone. Where people start just popping off at any point. But, Geji, welcome to level 11. You're on 142 kills. Wraith, look at you. You look like a Hedge Knight now. And you also vanquish a Hedge Knight. So, very fitting. Rob the Red, 41 kills. Igris, 37 kills. Skylock, 41. And you also killed a Hedge Knight. Grimald the Grim, 81 kills. Hero Shima on 8, that's fine. Citrine King's on 90 days, and he's on 60 kills. He's got two permanent injuries, and he's still... He's still here. To be fair, he's still here. And he's almost on over 90 melee skill at level 8. That's okay. That's okay. His resolve on an initiative, on the other hand. Roderick, you've got 14 XP to level 11, so you will level up next episode, providing you survive. You're on 69 kills. Nice. Eldrak, you went absolutely batshit in the last episode. You killed so many people. It was great. It was beautiful. What a sight to behold. That flag, that banner is blood soaked in glory. 70 kills. You pipped him by a kill. Oh my god. Nathaniel's on 16. That's fine. The Indian's on 32. Hans is on 44 and he really took a beating there for his friend Baffle. But it was worth it because Baffle's alive still. 
44 kills. Your daddy's on 76 kills. I'm on 68 kills, once again. You don't really see me much anymore. I'm half tempted to retire myself, honestly, to let someone else in. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Or I might put myself out in the best way possible. This ripped old man has got one job left to do. <laughs> Add Baffle, you're on 61 kills. You've had better days, but, you know, you're alive, and that's the important part. And once again, Geji, just to know, let me know which perk you want in the last of your perk tree. So that I can get it in. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it there for today. As always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. We've got a new series starting on the Iron Oath, which is a very similar game to this. So if you like Battle Brothers, check that out because it has very a lot of similarities. It's just a bit more 8-bitty and everyone has legs, which is really weird. It's going to take a bit of getting used to. Uh, but that is also another game where you can customize characters. So if you feel like you're having to wait too long in this one, feel free to check to that one. And I guess I suppose I'll give priority to the people who haven't got into this one yet. Over the people who are already in this one, if you get me. Uh, unless they're beating you to the pip already and are already in the game. That I can't help. Anyway, as always, feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure so you know next time we are going out with the Oath Takers or the Northerners now. And maybe another third thing in about two or three weeks. I won't spoil what it's going to be. But yeah, a lot to look forward to in the North at the moment. But for the time being, that's ciao for now, guys and girls. See you next time, knobs.